Okay, in this chapter, I wanna show you how to export a still image out of Final Cut Pro. It's very simple. All I have to do is cue my playhead on the timeline where I would like to make a still image. Notice how the timeline is selected. See the image that I have in the canvas window. If I go to File, Export, and I choose using QuickTime Conversion, and then when this window pops up, down here under Format, where it says QuickTime Movie, I wanna click and hold down, and I wanna choose Still Image. And then if I click on Options, where it says Format, you can see that it already has Photoshop chosen, and that's actually what we want. And then if I click on Options again, I can choose the depth. I want millions of colors plus. I'll click OK. I'll click OK. Then I can choose where I want to put the file. I'll choose the desktop. And it makes the name of the still image the name of the timeline. So if you want to change the name, highlight it and change, and then click Save. OK, now I'm going to cancel out of this because I want to make a still out of the viewer. I already have my playhead queued up here in the viewer. I'm going to select the viewer. Notice how it highlighted when I selected it. And this is a still that's moving, so it's going to have interlaced lines, and this is where I'm going to need to show you how to deinterlace the lines inside of Photoshop. Okay, so I have my playhead queued where I want to make the still. The viewer is selected. I'm going to go to File, Export, using QuickTime Conversion. Now I want to choose Format. I want to click and hold down and choose Still Image. Click on Options. I want a Photoshop file. I'm going to click on Options again. Millions of Colors Plus to verify that. Notice the name of this file is the name of the media file, Bunny Punch Hand. And down here where it says Hide Extension, notice we don't have that box checked. So it should put a period PSD at the end of this file name to make it a Photoshop file. I want to go ahead and save it on the desktop and click Save. Now there's our file. I'm going to hold down Apple and press the Tab key. And I'm going to tab over to Photoshop CS. Now I'm inside of Photoshop. I'm going to go to File, Open. And then I actually want to click on the desktop. And I'm going to choose my file, bunnypunchhand.psd. And I'm going to open the file. Now we have the file open inside of Photoshop CS. I want to zoom in and take a closer look at this file so that you can see the interlaced lines on your television screen or your computer monitor. Okay, these lines would not be good for an image that we want to print in our DVD artwork or if we want to use this image on our website. So how do we get rid of these interlaced lines? Well, we want to make sure that we have our layer selected. We only have one layer. It is selected. Let's click on Filter. And then we're going to go down to Video, and we're going to choose De-Interlace. Let's open up the De-Interlace window, and let's zoom in and take a closer look. In the De-Interlace window, you want to experiment with your settings. I'm going to go with Even Fields, and I'm going to choose Duplication. Let's go ahead and zoom back out, and I'm going to click OK and stare at the image and watch what happens. Okay, see how it got rid of the interlaced lines, and now we can actually see the blur punch in motion. If we zoom in and take a closer look at the image, you can see that we do not have the interlaced lines. Now we can just go File, Save, and save the image, or we could go Save for the web, and then we could save our image for the web. If we choose 4-Up, we'll click here in the top right-hand column, and you could come over here and choose a JPEG, a GIF, or a PNG file, and click Save. All right, that concludes this quick tutorial on exporting a still out of Final Cut Pro and opening it in Photoshop and removing our interlaced lines.